Well, Mr. President, it's an enormous pleasure to be with you today. Thank, Thank you for your warmth, of your welcome, uh, the generosity of your hospitality. And I think it's fair to say that uh, my visit here uh, reflects the importance that we in the United Kingdom uh, attach to this historic friendship. Let me just say on a personal note, we are very proud to be long-standing friends of the Kurdistan region of Iraq in the way you described. It's now been over 30 years since the creation of the no-fly zone on the initiative of uh, Prime Minister Sir John Major. I know there's a road named after him. I'm going to go and take a selfie there sure. uh, at some point. Um, and of course, that was so vital in protecting this region from Saddam Hussein and the violence that he inflicted on the people. I think it's fair to say, too, you've come a, an enormously uh, long way since then. Uh, it's been a, a challenging journey, but uh, you've come a, a, a long way. And the KRA has become, I would say, an enduring beacon of stability, resisting Iran's destabilizing influence, uh, and you have been absolutely fundamental in the battle against Daesh. And we uh, value that greatly, and we pay tribute to your efforts. Uh, and, uh, and I think we have to pay tribute to the strength and the sacrifice of the Kurdish people because they have been uh, many of the victims uh, along this historic journey. I've had excellent discussions today with the President on a whole wide range of issues. We have shared interests, we have shared values, we've got a, a vested joint stake in the stability not just of Iraq but of the region. Uh, and the UK is very committed to deepening that partnership uh, on trade, uh, on business investment in all the areas that the President described. I think it's positive that the Peshmerga reform uh, can go forward, working with the Iraqi security forces, uh, and that can help uh, remove Daesh from the disputed territories. I'm pleased that the UK is providing new funding to train the Peshmerga on cultural property protection in line with the Hague Convention. And of course, this is in, the, in addition to the support that we're already providing. The President and I also discussed uh, a whole range of other issues. We attach uh, importance to the freedoms that are secured and guaranteed for the people uh, in the KRI, uh, and in particular things like media freedom, freedom of expression, and I welcome the government's focus on these things. I also welcome the KRI, KRI's tolerant approach to people of all faiths and its support for displaced people. Uh, that's uh, enormously important. So it's a partnership for the long term. Uh, the President touched on some of the international issues which are important for the UK and our G7 presidency, but I know touch upon the interests of uh, the President and the KRI. He talked about girls' education and climate change. We are hosting the Global Partnership for Education in July with uh, our Kenyan friends to promote girls' education globally. And of course, he's right to raise the importance of the issue uh, in the KRI and in Iraq generally. Uh, climate change is another area for international cooperation. We're hosting COP26 in November, so very important to discuss the initiatives that are taking place here. And of course we can discuss all of these things uh, more when the President visits the UK uh, later on this year. So we look forward to seeing you in London uh, and to strengthening even further this uh, friendship between our governments, but even more importantly between our two peoples. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very good.